Hello you Tyrannosaurus Turnips and welcome to a Vivify gameplay video of Harvester. So I'm going to click new game and skip a couple of uh, intro things just so we can watch the, the main cutscene thing together which we haven't done before in any of these FMV things. So here we go, watch from here I believe. Yep. There's no like menu screen first then I could have done the intro. Then we could have watched it, so this is why we're doing it this way round. Look at the graphics, beautiful. I just love that even with how blurry this was, back in, I think this was 95 as well, this just blew our minds. I mean, I was only like four at the time, but it's like, whoa, this gonna happen? It's like real life. Really not. Well, we're going in a hole. Going in another hole. Future Vision. Emily Jacobson. Gilbert Austin. Harvester. I don't know why I said it like a pirate. I hope I'm loud enough, by the way, because I don't know what it is with these FMV games, but they love being quiet and extremely loud. Well done, Tim. Kevin and Scott. John Johns. Zorch Productions. I kind of wish I'd skip this now. I thought there was stuff going to happen. I didn't realise that everybody in their mum's name is going to be in this. Emily Jacobson back at it again. Interesting little logo though. It's kind of cool. I like it. Look out! <laughs> oh! <laughs> I didn't even try! I didn't even try to hide the fact that clipped him through. Look at it! Oh! Now that's hot! Oh! You need to get a shirt which fits you, pal. That's way too big. Please wait. Oh, I can't do anything else. Okay, oh, he's tucked it in at least. Right, so here we go. Time on the wall clock. One of your typical wall clocks. Cool. Easy, tiger! Look at this! Oh my god, you can actually punch! Get in! Down on the clarinet. Obviously some fat high school girl left it there. Whoa, alright. Chill out. Examine the beard. Match a speckle with odd stains. Examine the clock. Old fashioned clock bells and a hammer. A pair of plastic binoculars with the lenses melted to the tape. Oh, okay. Fair enough. Acne medicine. Down the dresser. Dress drawer is unlocked. Ooh, what do we got? What do we got? Down the quarter. Take it. Yes. Pen. Two marks visible on the end of the ballpoint pen. Yeah, it's always the case. Look like a weird bunny. Oh, that says a swear. I saw that. Two. E. B. Be love, Eve. Two love. Two love's better than one love. Saddle shoes. Bonk. Examine the mirror. Here for a thin layer of dust at your reflection. We'll clean it then. Oh, what a walk cycle that is. Stunning depiction of the earth made of papier mache. Exit. Whoa! 
What the hell is that? Talk to mum. Farming Sparky Super Foamy Fire Extinguisher. Cookies are baking in the oven. An expertly embroidered old fashioned wool black. Kind of smells of dirty diapers. Oh my god! What? That's not how babies breathe! A newborn is sleeping soundly. Because are hot out of the oven. Well, hello there. How about some cookies? There's plenty of rejects in the trash. Who are you? That's a fine way to talk to your mother. You're my mother? That's right. Though so sometimes I get treated like the hired help around here. I don't remember. Of course you don't. Until you need your socks washed. No, you don't understand. I can't remember where I am or even who I am. Land's sake, stop your joshing, won't you? Honestly, Steve, I thought you'd grow up a little after graduation. I only hope that new job will plant your feet on the ground. So that's my name. Steve. Your name will be M-U-D Mud if you don't stop teasing me, young man. Listen, this may sound strange, but I've lost my memory. Do you believe me? Well, you always were a kidder, Steve. I'm serious. Sure, and next you'll be telling me you don't remember Hank and your little sister. Graduation, Sister Hank Cookies, Charity Bake Sale. What charity is this bake sale supposed to benefit? It'll help provide a fund for bums and hobos who wander into harvest and have bums and hobos. Pies. Kind of a specific target group, isn't it? You have to pay attention to detail when dealing with such people. I don't know what you mean. You will. The whole thing has been organized by the Lodge. Tell me more about this bake sale. Why is it so important? As I told you, many unfortunates who come to Harvest end up needing financial help. Why is that the town's problem? It's not a problem, so long as those folks are taken care of. It's the will of the Lodge. Nice. Oh, the kind. Don't forget to put the papers out for Jimmy. You know how he gets. Yeah, hate that Jimmy guy. Uh, hold on, sorry, just gonna... Lower that music. There we go. So that annoying sound isn't there. Sorry. I told you I'm busy, Steve. Why don't? Uh. Other. Kiss. Stop speaking nonsense, dear. Kiss. Stop speaking nonsense, dear. Um. Food. Stop speaking nonsense, dear. How's food nonsense? Kids. Stop speaking nonsense, dear. Cowboy kid. I think I know what she's gonna say. Stop speaking nonsense, dear. Unbelievable. Okay, fine. Don't I'm out. forget to put the papers out. Shut up! Don't care about Jimmy. He can die for all I care. Do I want to talk tank? No, not really. Down the must bedroom, no. Sound the newspaper, a box full of newspapers. Um. Oh, oh, okay. Newspaper on my <laughs> on my inventory. Stop wasting my time, young man. <laughs> it's just slamming with a newspaper. Fair enough. Hey, kid, you on the newspaper? What's your name, Hank? Big whoop, Steve. Big whoop. Do you know what? I'm going to cut your face off if you talk to me like that again. No, I'm going to talk to him now. Jimmy James. Hey, Steve, I'm Jimmy James. Remember me? Uh, Why would you ask that? I guess not. Hey, how come you haven't been putting the paper out for me in the morning? I've got better things to do. Well, I don't, you selfish punk. How'd you expect a working Joe to make an honest living? You don't put the paper out, I'm out of a job. Why don't you so just knock what? on the door? You don't get paid for picking up papers anyway. The Sentinel building burnt down. What the heck else am I supposed to do? Listen, start putting that paper out and everything will be Jake, okay? Jake? That's all I want. That and a pair of sneakers. Walking this route every day has worn holes in mine. Say, you got any spare sneakers? No. Oh, gee whiz. Look, if you find any, I'd be willing to trade you for them. 
Something really neat though. Think about it. See you later, alligator. Sounds good to me. Damn the disc. So I could give him I'm gonna give him a pen. That don't mean zip to me. I don't mean zip, guys. Right, I don't get out. Not giving him the paper, I refuse. My house, general store, post office, barber shop, missile base, the lodge. Oh Jesus Christ! Absolutely snaps the stuff. Cemetery. Hmm. Fire station. I'm gonna go to the cemetery. I think. What could go wrong? Examine the grave. Jonathan A. Rhinecliffe. Yeah, here reeks of fresh soil and manure. Fresh? Look how it's nice and sunny, it gets to the grave. Well, that didn't work. Oh. Damn it. Okay. Well, that didn't work. Damn it. Well, that didn't work. Damn it. <laughs> I'm having way too much fun with just that. Uh, examine the tombstone. Tombstone's unmarked. This one. Scripture on the headstone has faded beyond legibility. Scotty Baker, and we shall rest easily without you. Oh, oh! Two years in harvest was too long. Fear not in death, Monty Jakes. Not even glue could save him. Rest in peace, Elmer. Freddie Mercedes, too much love will kill you. Robert Williams, may your fantasies be forever glo uh, glory. Eli's boxcar, William. Just kidding, it was Willy. <laughs> Rip the unnamed hobo. See? Good idea coming to this place. It's friendly. Examine the picnic table. You know, rest in place among the graves. Yeah! Watch out! The leaning sycamore is dead rotten, unstable for climbing or stringing nooses. I mean, that's not what I was thinking, if I'm honest. Boston family crypt. Marble have seen sealed shut. Oh, is that it? Nothing else to do at the old graveyard. Fair enough. Well, we might as well go to the graveyard for kids next and the school! We went to the adult one. Uh, what was it? It was like down here, wasn't it? TV station, memorial school. The bake sale. Looks like the bake sale would be held here. Steve, good of you to drop by, big guy. Haven't seen you since graduation. A lot of changes, I hear. You could say that. Good, good. That's a nice part of my job. Turning fine young men and women out into the world, and then watching them prosper. Of course, I was able to reach more people at the old Sentinel, God bless her. But then again, I never got to see the results of my work up close before. Who are you? You know very well I'm Mr. Harold, principal of Gain Memorial. Harold. Steve, I've heard about this amnesia nonsense. I had hopes you'd be in the lodge by now, fine young fella like yourself. But now, I think maybe you need a little more quality time. Ah. 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 Kiss? Oops, you just lost me. Ah, oh, unbelievable. Yeah, quality time. Quality time. Some, like Miss Whaley, favor stern discipline, corporal punishment, as a means of socialization. Myself, I temper discipline with love. Quality time can be such a warm, sharing experience. After just a few sessions, you'd stop this amnesia nonsense and become a productive member of society. And a fit candidate for the lodge. They all love the lodge, don't they? Oh, I'm out. Bye. 
drop in again soon. Adult education is a wonderful thing, as is adult quality time. <laughs> yes! That's what you get for trying to give me some quality time. Oh, there you go. Well, that didn't work. Ah, that's a shame. Damn it. No, it meant to... There we go. Me. Door is locked. Doesn't work. Interesting. What about this one? Oh, it connects it. That's a lot of uh, HPD, there we go. I love that they're definitely not in that car. That's great. What were you thinking? Attacking someone like that? With so many witnesses around? You'll have plenty of time to think about it, boy. In my defense, there wasn't a witness. Somebody help me! What do you people want from me? Too late for that, boy. Ain't it, Sergeant? Indeed it is, Sheriff. Answers may only be found in the Lodge, and you must be alive to see them. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh no, I'm dead. Game over. Oh, what a letdown. Load game. I didn't save, did I? I didn't save. Ridiculous. New game. Hold on. Don't worry, guys. Don't worry, guys. I'll get us there. Uh, I've got a couple of things I want to do now. <laughs> whoa, 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 relax, relax, Jesus Christ. Uh, yeah, just, uh, no, not, not yet, not yet, not yet, save him, save him. So she was there, in the thing, we'll get a bit closer, don't they? What can I? Can't punch you anymore. There we go. Oh, come on, she's just out of range. You're joking me. No, she's not. Get it. Oh, she poured the stuff on herself. Oh, that's fine. There we go. Go out. Why are you stuck? I think the game crashed. Oh no. It's going straight to the, uh... Straight to the police department. Right, so... I wonder if my mum, in quotation marks, will be there. What were you thinking? Attacking someone like that? Wait, what? She is still there. Somebody help me! What do you people want from me? Too late for that, boy. Boy. I'm sergeant. Indeed it is, Sheriff. Answers may only be found in the lodge, and you must be alive to see them. Okay, fair enough. Right, well, that's gonna. <laughs> oh, I was hoping it'd be something different, though, because, uh, you know, absolutely punched the um, dinner out of her, I guess. But, uh, yeah, that's a good laugh, actually. Just messed about in this. 
Uh, you know, I might play some more of this just because it was that stupid but funny. So yeah, as always, I thank you for watching and I'll see you in whatever the next video may be. Bye for now, you cheeky chaps with fries on your earlobes. <laughs>